Hey, what's up everyone? This is Minnesota Mike back with you for another video. This is another one in my vlog series that I do through the Memphis Songwriters Association in conjunction with the blog that I write for them talking all about songwriting and what has worked for various artists over the course of a handful of years, whether those songs have been hits or not. So this latest kick that I'm on is called, Well, How Did We Get Here? And it talks all about uh, modes of transportation within songs and how to use those effectively. Uh, so last time, uh, still this week, but we looked at uh, the song Watching Airplanes by Gary Allen. And uh, we also looked at the week before Little Red Corvette by Prince and uh, the song A Horse With No Name by America. We're going to close out this discussion with uh, the song City of New Orleans by Steve Goodman. And of course, it's been covered multiple times, so take your pick of your favorite cover. Lyrically, just looking at the title, you would think City of New Orleans would have fit better in my uh, state and city blog. Uh, but City of New Orleans actually refers to the train that runs from Chicago down to, you guessed it, New Orleans. In it, he paints a picture of all the people and the things he sees on the train from 15 restless riders to uh, three, the three conductors along with 25 sacks of mail. The chorus then details a charming innocence by kindly asserting, good morning America, how are you? Don't you know me? I'm your native son. There are many songs about trains out there, but most of them, like the airplane songs, are written from the perspective of the writers. So A Sailor by Fountains of Wayne, we discussed in an earlier blog, and then The Gambler uh, by Kenny Rogers, as well as King of the Road by Roger Miller, just to name a few. This song, however, is unique in that it personifies the train. When the train pulls in, it greets everyone around it by saying, good morning, America, how are you? Also, not to be forgotten, this is one of over a thousand songs that mention Memphis in its lyrics. I, I can't let this lyrical section end, though, without giving uh, some long overdue credit to Steve Goodman. This song has been covered by countless artists, like I said, and sometimes when that happens, the song can fall, fall victim to oversaturation. But this is such a charming song, and I don't think it'll ever get old. There would be no John Prine without Steve Goodman. Uh, both were fabulous songwriters, but Steve Goodman doesn't always get the credit that he deserves. Um, and uh, some of that is on me too, uh, you know, since I pick out uh, blogs based on theme, not necessarily based on writer, um, you know, but I could have picked out Steve Goodman a little bit sooner uh, had I been a little more familiar with his discography. But anyway, thank you, Steve, uh, wherever you are for uh, all of your fabulous songs that you wrote. So melodically, this particular song is written in the key of C major. Uh, Goodman uses the chords C, G, C, A minor, F, C, G in the intro. This is a 1, 5, 1, 6, 4, 1, 5 pattern. The verses then use the same chords as the intro, except ends on a G7 instead of the straight G. This is followed by the same pattern, except ending on the C7, an extension of the one chord in uh, the uh, rest of the verses. Um, the pre-chorus then uses A minor, E minor, G, and D before ending on A minor, E minor, G, G7, C, and C7. This is a uh, six, three, five, one pattern. The chorus then uses F, G, C, C7, A minor, F, C, and G7, which is a four, five, one, six, four, one, five pattern. Then it ends on A minor, F, G, C, and G, which is a six, four, five, one, five pattern. Instrumentally, the song uses acoustic and bass guitar, as well as violin and drums. Structurally, this song uses a verse, pre-chorus, chorus, chorus verse, pre-chorus, chorus, verse, pre-chorus, chorus format. There's a lot to cover uh, in over 900 miles, but it never feels like an arduous journey. 
Instead, the joyous nature of the song gets us excited for each verse and each new thing the train is going to point out. The last chorus changes from Good Morning America to Good Night America, which is not currently a talk show like Good Morning America, but if Good Night America were currently a talk show, I'm sure Ryan Seacrest would be hosting it. Uh, so City of New Orleans is uh, embedded below. You can uh, enjoy it. Uh, this is the Steve Goodman version, by the way, that I am uh, attaching, uh, embedding, and uh, in the case of the vlog, I guess I'm uh, linking it. Um, you know, choose whatever verb you want, uh, but it's there. Uh, so you can uh, listen to that, and then I'm sure you can go down a rabbit hole of all the many covers. Uh, Woody Guthrie's is another one of my favorites. Um, and actually, on a side closing note, uh, two of my friends do a really good cover of this song, which kind of made me, uh, you know, listen to it with new ears. Uh, my friend Paul Anthony does a really good cover of it, and it was uh, the first song that I heard uh, his first gig back in Memphis. Uh, after things started opening back up. Uh, and so it always makes me happy in that regard, thinking of it. Um, and then uh, my friend Walt does a really good cover of it too, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so um, something to look forward to there. Uh, some more covers if you're in the Memphis area. Uh, and uh, that is that. But I'm Minnesota Mike. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in. As always, I hope that you got something valuable out of this, um, that it affects your writing. I know this song has affected my writing uh, in a very positive way. Um, and uh, so I hope it does the same for you. Be sure to check out all my other vlogs, all my other blogs, the blogs around the Memphis Songwriters Association website. Uh, and the vlogs are obviously right here on YouTube. Again, I am Minnesota Mike. Thank you so much.